Assalamu alaikum and uh, good evening. Uh, this is video number 441 and uh, this video is uh, uh, this video is based on uh, expenditure uh, function. Let me start with the definition of the expenditure function. Uh, we can define expenditure function in the following way. In microeconomics the expenditure function gives the minimum amount of money that an individual needs to spend to achieve some given level of utility given a utility function and the prices of all the available goods. Formally, if there is a utility function U which describes preferences over N commodities, the expenditure function can then be written as E of P U star in non-negative orthant that is in uh, preferences uh, are defined over n commodities uh, and it says what amount of money is required to achieve a utility uh, shown by u star if the n prices are given by the price factor p this function defined by e uh, of p and u star which is equal to minimization of the total expenditure that is the price factors times the number of uh, commodities uh, where the binary relation greater than or equal to is given by the set of all bundles that uh, give utility at least as good as uh, u star. Uh, we can express this equivalently. Uh, the individual minimizes expenditure uh, on x1 times p1 plus x2 times P2 up to Xn times uh, Pn subject to the minimal utility constraint that U of X1, X2 up to Xn is greater than or equal to uh, U star, uh, giving optimal quantities to consume of the various goods from X1 up to Xn as a function of U star and uh, the prices. Then the expenditure function is uh, E of P1, Pn and uh, u star and that is equal to x1 star times p1 plus x2 star times p2 up to xn star uh, times pn. So, this is the uh, expenditure function. The indirect utility function that uh, we discussed in the previous video that is in uh, video number uh, uh, 439 was a neat and powerful way to summarize a great deal about the consumer's market behavior. A companion measure of the indirect utility function which is called the expenditure function is equally useful and uh, to construct the indirect utility function we fixed market prices and income and we sought the maximum level of utility the consumer could achieve. To construct the expenditure function we again fix prices but we ask a different sort of question about the level of utility the consumer achieves. Specifically, we ask the question what is the minimum level of money expenditures the consumer must make facing a given set of prices to achieve a given level of utility. Uh, the consumer's expenditure function thus shows the minimal expenditures required to achieve a given utility level for a particular set of prices that is minimal expenditures are equal to uh, E function of P1, P2, Pn and uh, some target utility U. This definition shows that the expenditure function and the indirect utility function are uh, inverse of uh, one another. Each of the parallel straight lines in the figure uh, in the next slide depicts all bundle all bundles X that require the same level of total expenditure to acquire when facing the price factor from P1 up to Pn, each of these expenditures curve is defined implicitly by this function E is equal to P1 Px1, uh, P1 X1 plus P2 X2 for a different level of uh, total expenditure E greater than 0. Each therefore will have the same slope that is minus P1 divided by P2 but different horizontal and vertical intercept shown by E ray divided by P1 and E divided by P2 respectively. ISO expenditure curves are the uh, budget line uh, further out contain bundles costing more and those farther in 
uh, give bundle casting less. Uh, if you fix the level of utility at u, then the indifference curve u of x is equal to u2 gives all bundles yielding the consumer the, the same level of utility. And uh, here is the uh, diagram that I just mentioned in the previous uh, uh, slide. Uh, we have two commodities x1 and x2 and uh, this is the given level of utility that the consumer would like to achieve and uh, we have four different ISO expenditure curves or uh, budget lines. So, this one, uh, this budget line which is tangent to the indifference curve uu at uh, point x uh, to the power h uh, is the uh, gives the consumer uh, equilibrium and uh, at that we will uh, uh, he will consume x1 h units of x1 and uh, h2 x2 the power h uh, is the quantity of x2 commodity that the consumer will uh, purchase given uh, uh, this budget line and uh, the utility level that uh, is shown by u. So, this is the how, find, how to find the lowest level of expenditure to achieve uh, utility level u. In constructing the expenditure function, however, we seek to minimum expenditure the consumer requires to achieve utility u or the lowest possible expenditure curve that still has at least one point in common with the indifference curve. And it is as this point that uh, only one point is common uh, in this budget line with the utility uh, with the indifference curve u. Clearly, that will be the level uh, shown by uh, E star and the least cost bundle that achieves utility u at prices vector p will be the bundle x raised to the power h. So, that is the uh, best level of uh, utility uh, which can be purchased with the given amount of money income this budget line. And uh, that is a function of uh, x1 h, h where that is further function of p and u. Similarly, uh, x2 h is also function of uh, the vector of prices and u. If we denote the minimum expenditure necessary to achieve utility u at prices uh, given by uh, prices vector p by e of p and u that level of expenditure will simply be equal to the cost of bundle x h r expenditure function is given by p 1 x 1 raised to the power h which is function of uh, prices vector u p and uh, utility u plus p 2 x 2 h which is also function of uh, vector of prices p and u and that is equal to the minimal expenditure given by e star. Uh, so, more generally we define the expenditure function as the minimum valued function given by uh, E of uh, P u which is uh, equal to uh, minimum expenditure given uh, that the utility uh, of x bundle is greater than or equal to u uh, for all prices strictly positive and all attainable utility level u for further reference let u be uh, function of uh, x uh, such that the consumption bundle x uh, is in a non negative r and r uh, in n commodities uh, denote the set of attainable utility levels that the domain of e is a uh, uh, non negative uh, r and times utility we can derive the expenditure function in the following way let in a two good world the consumer's dual problem is to minimize the expenditure function subject to utility constraint said subject to uh, utility that is given by x to the power 0 0.5 and y to the power 0 0.5 where u is the utility target then we can uh, set up the Lagrangian expression for this problem as l is equal px times x plus p y times y plus lambda uh, u bar which is uh, the utility target minus x to the power 0 0.5 y to the power 5. Now, if you take the partial derivative of this Lagrangian function with respect to x, y and lambda and solving these three equations simultaneously, uh, we get this. 
and uh, uh, what we do we basically maximize the marginal the marginal rate of substitution that is the uh, ratio of marginal utilities of x and y and we equate that to uh, price ratio so we can show that uh, the ratio of price of y divided by the ratio of price of x is uh, uh, equal to the marginal utility of uh, x divided by marginal utility of y so marginal utility of x is this and marginal utility of uh, y is this and if we simplify this is equal to x divided by y and uh, we can uh, put this in the expenditure function and we will get that y is equal to px divided by py times x and similarly x is equal to the ratio of price of y divided by price of x times y. Uh, since the given utility given by u bar is equal to x to the power 0 0.5 and y to the power 0 0.5 substitute value of y in uh, u star we get that uh, x star is equal to price of uh, y divided by price of x raised to the power 0 0.5 times the utility target. So if you repeat the same for x in a uh, utility function uh, we get u star is equal to this and finally y star is given by uh, price of x divided by price of y both raised to the power whole raised to the power 0 0.5 times the target utility finally substitute x star and y star in the expenditure function given by px times x plus py times y then uh, expenditure function is equal to px times py divided by px whole raised to the power 0 0.5 times u bar plus py times px divided by py whole raised to the power 0 0.5 times u bar and uh, simplifying this uh, the expenditure function is equal to 2 into px raised the power 0 0.5 p raised the power uh, 0. Point, py raised the power 0. 0.5 whole raised to the power 0. 0.5 times utility so finally we have e that is expenditure function is equal to 2 into px py raised to the power 0. 0.5 times uh, utility bar that is utility target this gives us the minimum expenditures to required to achieve the given utility uh, u bar. Ladies and gentlemen, this is quite interesting and uh, very informative for those who are uh, doing a uh, course uh, in uh, uh, advanced microeconomics or microeconomic theory um, by MPhil and uh, PhD students. I hope this was quite uh, useful for you. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get regular information or notification about uh, my other videos that will be uploaded for you. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly share various videos of this uh, channel in various WhatsApp groups so that this could reach to the maximum uh, possible number of people. Thank you. And